20 years ago, this was the scene of the last war on Earth. This Pacific island is where the future was built, where the old guard, the fossilized establishment, was brought down. 20 years have been spent building a new earth, a world of plenty and peace. But the old guard never went away. The remaining monsters of the 20th century, the death lovers, the power brokers, the old men who lived on theft and hate, have formed a cabal with the intent to break the world apart. With new machinery unimagined by the outside world, they have incorporated the island into a newly grown chicane of similar islands. The earth literally forced by machines to throw islands up into an artificial design. The cabal control their operations from the shielded island in the center of the chicane. Operations for war against a world that's given war up. It's up to the new society of 2032 to relearn war, to revive the last of the adaptive cruisers. Give it the ability to lend battle vehicles autonomous control by bonding their systems with the chip-contained minds of dead soldiers and to send them all into the chicane to fight their way through to Island Zero and the nightmare waiting there to be set loose on the planet. These are hostile waters. Walker? Walker. Morning, Church. Have you slept? I think I may have drifted for five minutes. It's hard, you know. Church. I've had word from Minitech. They finished their report on the missiles and warheads. I have the full analysis here. No heat signature, self-replicating fuel, fast strike... Seventy percent of the missile capable of carrying payload. I skimmed through it on the way up here. There aren't many people who have access to these technologies. Any of these technologies, not anymore. A few of our people, one or two from Minitech, no more. We made sure of that. Over the past 20 years, we've had our agents keep close tabs on all the radicals, and none of them have developed any significant weaponry, certainly nothing of this magnitude. Maybe a new group? One that slipped through the system? Nobody slips through the system. We've got more agents out there than there are faction members. If there was a split, we'd know about it. For Christ's sake, we control most of them. They can't take a shit without us knowing about it. Who, then? Come here. Some months ago, it came to our attention that large shipments of raw materials were being routed to an island chicane in the Pacific Ocean. Central's records show that new research facilities are planned for the area and that some work has begun, but this doesn't explain the quantities that have been shipped there. Two weeks ago, we sent a small ops team into the area to carry out preliminary investigations. And? And we haven't heard from them. Their links have been disabled. 
Any clues as to why? Nothing but speculation and conjecture. But with that, alongside the attacks last night, the disappearance of three of our most prolific scientists over the past 12 months means we're fast running out of options. We need to act. At four o'clock this morning, Central gave the green light to reopen the Antaeus program. The Antaeus program? But the Antaeus technology is gone, destroyed. All the vessels disassembled after the war. They were, all but two. Look around you, Church. We use the same technology to purify the air, to provide food and clothing, to manage and maintain our environment. We've turned the technology into something that benefits every person in this city, every inhabitant of the Earth. Sit down, Church. There's something you don't know about the Antaeus cruisers, information that only a handful of people have ever been privy to, and that's been kept classified for the past 20 years. I'm listening. You've heard of Soul Catcher? Classified 1990s American military program? Theoretical research into storing human brain functions on silicon. It was closed in the late 90s to make funds available for the advancement of the SETI programs. Mostly correct, but it was never closed. Far from it. Every crew member on an Antaeus vessel was fitted with a Soul Catcher chip. If they ever died in combat, their thoughts, their abilities, their minds were stored on silicon, ready to be salvaged and used again to pilot especially adapted craft built using the cruiser's onboard nanofactories. That's not all. The Soul Catcher system proved fine for most tasks, but it was crucial that the captain of a cruiser should always be corporeal, a real human with a real mind. This presented the scientists and technicians with a problem. The chips could survive being inactive for years on end, but how could a human be stored? How could they put a human being in stasis? The answer, unfortunately, was that they couldn't. So who? Walker. Sir? Church. Sir? Have you finished your briefing yet, Walker? No, sir. I was just... It'll have to wait. I've just heard from Central, and the news isn't good. Of the reactivations, only one has been successful. Antaeus Prototype Double Zero. What about Zero Four? Cerebral damage. It won't respond to the reactivation signal. We'll have to go with just the one cruiser. It's within a day of the last known position of the Spec Ops team, and is in a serviceable condition. When you say serviceable... Propulsion is online. Command is online. The net link is working. Scanners are online. The main guns are down. Replication is offline. Automated lifting is offline. How much can be repaired using the nano repair systems? Ah, uh, providing we're careful. Enough to hold the ship together. Until we can get it to a disused wet dock, situated 65 kilometers east of the current position. A mini-tech repair team is being dropped into the area at 2300 hours today. They're going to stay concealed until the cruiser is within an hour of the wet dock, just in case we're being observed. They'll then activate the automated service systems and dock the carrier. There's an island lying off the bow of the cruiser. There should be enough scrap metal lying around there to get the creation engines back online. The reactivation system has built one Pegasus unit and one Scarab unit, equipped with a recycling unit. The Soul Catcher interface is badly damaged, however. Captain, you'll need to use the direct link to control those vehicles until we've got your Soul Catcher interface back online. Church, I want you to patch into the carrier's systems and see if you can diagnose what is wrong. Do whatever you can to get that interface system working. Walker, monitor progress and advise as necessary. 
I want hourly updates from both of you. Don't let us down. Scanners are showing large amounts of metal concentrated to the southeast of the main crater. Once you have dropped Scarab onto the most easterly of the two beaches, you should move up to this area, salvaging whatever you can on the way. This place reminds me of what it was like. This island was over a mile square, you know. I've heard the stories, but I never thought. Good work. Now return to Antaeus for a full debrief. This is an artifact of nanotechnology, a science of small things. These are assemblers, powerful computerized engines, each just a dusting of atoms wide. One alone can begin building an object from nothing up, one atom at a time. Millions of assemblers could sit unnoticed in the crevices of your hands. Billions of them could build a plane from the ruins of a tank and a few handfuls of dirt within hours. The untold trillions in the Adaptive Cruiser's creation reactor will create new weapons and vehicles from what the scavengers bring back within seconds. We think the Hornet wreckage is somewhere near the center of the island lying to the west of your position. Build a Pegasus unit and locate the helicopter, then lift it into position over the sampling unit situated towards the stern of the carrier. If your positioning's right, the sampler will lock onto the wreck and absorb it. Provided the encoded replication schematics are intact, you'll then be able to build Hornet-class helicopters. You'll also receive the helicopter's energy to help with new vehicle construction. How are you getting on with the repairs, Church? Slower than we'd hoped. Soul Catcher is partially repaired, but it'll be a while before it's fully functional. Captain, you can add Soul Catcher chips to your vehicles and give them orders from the war room. But the direct ordering system is still giving us problems. It's possible the salt water's corroded some of the power conduits between the carrier and the interface. I'll keep on it as a priority and give you a full brief as soon as I have any news. I need to be straight with you, Captain. Things aren't looking good back here. Last night, Pacific State, Baltic Central and SoCal were all hit by missiles launched from locations suspected to be within your theater of operation. As soon as Antaeus is back to full operational strength, we need to locate the launch sites and shut them down.
Unit complete. God, this is strange. Vehicle ready. Twenty years and I'm back in the saddle. <laughs> Feels damn good. Borden. Okay, sir. Acknowledged. Orders confirmed. I've been successfully collected. Awaiting LZ location. I've detected their units. Oh, fantastic. Captain, it seems the area is covered by some sort of radar net. Keep watching your scanners for any signs of hostile movement. Active units will appear in red on both short and long-range scanners. And get that helicopter back to the sampler as quickly as you can. Now you've been detected, we need to get you out of there smartish. Position acquired. Load picked up. Sampling in progress. Do not move. New construction options available. Unit complete. Feels like I never went away. Awaiting new orders. I've reached my destination. Have a little aviator loving. This Do not let anything happen to Antaeus, Captain. Destroy those helis. My name is Ransom. They're commencing attacks. I have been engaged by the enemy. Recon units moving. Well done. Now let's get you out of there. I was the last of the solo helicopter strikers. This outer band of islands was where the fundamentalists made their last stand. If there weren't going to be any more churches, then by God, there weren't going to be any more people. fight on Earth, and I loved it. I didn't regret dying in it. I was an aviator. We don't lay down and die, crap out in a comfy armchair with a fat wife, and tick like kids dripping all over us. We just drop out of the air. The soul catcher chip knew what was happening. I felt it crackle, take a deep breath, summon itself, and suck me in. is Ransom. Locate and demolish the facility that produced those recon choppers. The oil derricks near the south shore of the island are probably fueling a construction plant. 
so we're relatively certain the facility is somewhere nearby. It would be tactically sound to destroy those derricks before trying to locate the factory. If they can't produce energy, they'll have to fall back on reserve power to continue construction, which can only last for a limited amount of time. Once you have located it, destroying the facility itself shouldn't be a problem, but assume it'll be well defended. Try to stockpile energy before proceeding. That way you'll be able to replace lost units quickly and efficiently. Church? We still don't have the direct ordering system back online, but the engineers at Minitech have been able to develop an ablative armor plating system for your vehicles. They've already downloaded the schematics to the construction systems. Adding armor to your vehicles will make them much more resilient to hostile fire, although there is a limit to how much you can add before the additional benefits become negligible. Church, out. This is Ransom. I'm picking up movement. Pick up successful. They've arrived. Reinforcements are quiet. Load picked up. Destroy those oil derricks, Captain. Taking hits. All flanks falling. Borden here. I've got a new radar contact. Under attack, armor holding. Recon units moving. Enemy down. Structure destroyed. We found it. All available units are attacked from my location. I am down, sir. Reinforcements are quiet. Confirmed kill. I've started demolition. With the derricks gone, they won't be able to keep up production for long. Secure the area, then locate and destroy the factory. Enemy down. Reinforcements urgently requested. This is Ransom. I'm picking up movement. All strength falling. It looks like those derricks are actually fueling a tank facility. Destroy it before proceeding. A building of that size will contain huge amounts of energy for you to scavenge. Code Red, taking hits. This is Ransom, I'm taking damage. And another one bites the dust. M1 detected. It ain't hurting yet. Scratch one bogey. Ransom here, commencing attack. Attacking. Scratch one bogey. This is Ransom. Structure destroyed. I engage the building. This is Patton. I am scavenging at the location. This is ground unit production. We are under attack. HQ, this is Beta Team. All production is down. I repeat, all production is down. I'm picking up movement. I have some on radar. Taking hits. All strength falling. Ransom here. Commencing attack. Taking heavy damage, but she's holding. <laughs> it looks like intelligence was wrong. There's no air unit facility around here. That platform looks interesting, though. Bring it to the carrier for sampling, and I'll get Minitech to take a look at the results. Load picked up. Sampling in progress. Do not move. Well done. Now proceed straight to the debrief. We've got some information about that platform. In the year 2012, the Earth was hit by the last thing it was expecting. Sanity. 
2012 was the end of days in the old Mayan calendar, a time of great change, the conclusion of history. And it seemed to coincide with a great sea change in the way people saw the world. No one dared suggest that it brought the change with it, of course. But suddenly, we all looked at each other and saw not where we all came from, but where we were all going. And we decided to all go there together. This is what we're fighting for. This is what the old rulers don't want us to have. A world gone sane. This time we were right about the location of the facility. Waves of those recon choppers are leaving the island from an area near the southeast shore at roughly five minute intervals. Assume the facility is located somewhere in that sector. We also believe there's a communications array near the center of the island. Locate the array, move into close range of it, and once we have intercepted any available signals, destroy it. That should seriously disrupt their communications and could give us valuable intelligence. There's a strong possibility that your conventional weapons won't touch the array. If it's as important as we suspect, it'll be made of something a little more sturdy than steel. If you can locate a source of high explosives, use it to cause a localized blast centered on the dish. Recon units moving. This is Ransom. I'm picking up movement. Yeah, yeah. Reinforcements are quiet. They've got Agak. -Ag. Recon chopper on screen. Look out for that Apache, Captain. It looks like it's carrying a missile system similar to the one you found earlier. I have radar on. The AA guns surrounding that base could cause you big problems. Go in with more than one unit and make sure one of you has scalpel equipped. Base, I'm taking hostile fire. All strength falling. Hull integrity within safe limits. Energy store on radar. This is Beta Team. They've shut down all our energy production. This is Ransom. I'm picking up movement. Out here. You'll have to hit me harder than that. Storage pod detected. I have them. Hostile neutralized. Attacking. Under attack. Hull holding. Enemy down. Awaiting new orders. Energy storage located. There's the air unit factory. Destroy it. They've arrived. Under attack. Armor holding. Waiting for... What's going on, Church? I've managed to get the direct ordering system back online, but it's drawing a lot of power from the war room. Captain, you'll have to stick to using the direct ordering system until I find out what's causing the drain. Doesn't anything work on that heap of junk? It's no bloody wonder that technology was banned, unbloody reliable. Just keep on it and do the best you can. Attacking building. Ah, oh, who let you in? This is air unit production. We are under attack. Repeat, we are under attack. This is Ransom. I'm picking up movement. This is Beta Team. All storage is now offline. HQ, this is Beta Team. All production is down. I repeat, all production is down. Taking heavy damage, but she's holding. This is air unit production. We are under attack. Repeat, we are under attack. HQ, this is Beta Team. All production is down. I repeat, all production is down. might create a large enough explosion to destroy the comms dish. Get it out, my head. It hurts, it hurts. Load at LZ. All objectives complete. Easy. Leave it to the tank corps. Victory.
The people have made so many changes since our time passed. We have much to do once they have been beaten again. In the old days, we could just take back the means of production. But they've got free creation engines on street corners now, pumping out food and clothes for nothing. Solar energy collectors in orbit, for God's sake. Beaming free energy back down. We need to bomb those fucking things out of the sky for a start. Obviously. We need to start from scratch. Major urban areas need to be taken back to the Stone Age. The infrastructure of their society needs to be wiped out. There can be no half measures. Once that's done, we can go in, reintroduce the concept of money. Money for labor, food or money. Without those basic relationships, there can be no control. And without control, we may as well just end all life on this planet and see if the cockroaches can get it right a billion years from now. We think the airfield is located somewhere in the southern sector of the island. Before you head there, make sure you create a strong beachhead as near to the carrier as possible. There's an energy production area east of your position that shouldn't prove too difficult to breach. Destroying the derricks will also slow down any unit production in the area. Once you have secured the beachhead, create a scavenging team to provide you with energy. The airfield will be well defended and you'll need a strong force to take the key positions. Minitech has been working on a repair unit for Scarab. It allows you to carry out field repairs to damaged units. As long as Scarab has a Soul Catcher chip attached, it shouldn't need too much attention. Just move into location and allow the repair unit to lock onto you. And do make sure you keep it well defended at all times. It won't repair itself. We're also picking up erroneous readings to the northeast of the landing zone. Locate the source of the readings and investigate before proceeding to the airfield. Once you have destroyed the plane, get out of there as quickly as possible. We need to get to the wet dock before they have a chance to recover from our attack. I have radar contact, awaiting visual. Croker here, engaging. Watch this radar net. I've got hostile fire here. Scratch one bogey. Croker here, attacking. The commencer attack. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. I've got ACAC on radar. That was enough. I do not mind you. Too kind. But the next time, it will be me behind the trigger. I've got ACAC on screen. Detecting new sensor target. Bam, 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 bam. Reinforcements urgently requested. Unit destroyed. Borden going in. This is Ransom. I'm taking damage. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Unit engaged. Recon chopper detected. See ya. Ransom here. Attacking. It ain't hurting yet. They've got Ak Ak. Yeah, baby, yeah. Borden here. Target engaged. I'm being attacked. M1 on radar. This is getting hairy. You're not bad. Simple and effective. You should focus now. We haven't got a chance. Hostile destroyed. This is Ransom commencing attack. I'm taking enemy fire. This is... It looks like some kind of weapons platform. Bring it to Antaeus for sampling. Come on, come on. The object seems to be an experimental hovercraft, capable of traveling over water and land, a thick hull with enough power to carry more efficient weaponry than Hornet. Give us a few minutes and we should be able to patch the schematics into your system. The schematics are in. It looks like it's going to be a very powerful addition to your armory. We've called it Salamander. I have fresh radar contacts. Here they come. New contact. Borden here. Target engaged. Cold red. Taking hits. Under attack, hull holding. Target down. Borden here. Attacking. Excellent. You are beyond belief. Whatever. Here they come. Yeah. There's the plane. Captain, you're advised to secure the area before destroying it. Taking hits. Hot flames falling. Croker here. Attacking. Here they come. Hostile neutralized. Apache detected. It ain't hurting yet. Ransom here. Commencing attack. Target down. Do I really look like a laborer? Target under attack. It ain't hurting yet. Jesus. What on earth is that? It looks alive. 
keep the troops back while we observe it. Don't damage it, whatever you do. All straight, falling. I don't think there's going to be much choice, Walker. The towers that are growing are giving off huge power readings. I think it's some sort of weapon. Building. Okay, Church, point taken. Captain, destroy the towers. We'll worry about the consequences later. But if you can salvage any part of it, it could be decisive in finding out what that thing is. Out. Scorlef, going in. Ransom here, taking heat. Taking heavy damage, but she's holding. Kill the fucker. God damn it! I've got radar blips. I'm taking enemy fire. Unit neutralized. That husk is protecting something that's affecting our systems. See if you can break through it. There's another layer. The blue glow is coming from whatever's inside. You have to destroy this inner membrane to get at it. Church. What is that thing? This is it. Without analyzing it, I can't be sure. Captain, if you can get a scavenger-equipped scarab to the area, we should be able to use its analysis beam to gather preliminary readings. This is the operating mind of the carrier, addressing scavenger vehicle and all souls within its zone of movement. The stone being scanned is apparently an informational device, broadcasting on a low electromagnetic frequency, disruptive to our communications electronics. Bring it aboard for further study. You know what you have to do, Captain. Protect Antaeus until repairs are complete. And make sure no harm comes to any of the repair arms working on the carrier. Each one can only work on a specific area of Antaeus. Losing one will kill any hope we have of returning her to full operational strength. Church? Minitech has downloaded plans for a new defense platform to your construction systems. Sentinel has an incredibly strong hull, powerful weapons capabilities, and extensive space for augmentations. And take it for granted they know you're here. Expect them to respond in force. I've never enjoyed being picked up. I have my load. I've got an Apache on radar. This has some movement on radar. I'm down. Load now down. Engaging. In the air. New They're deploying bombers. For God's sake, don't let them get anywhere near the carrier. T minus eight minutes. Starting attack. Apache detected. Taking hits. All strength falling. I've got an Apache on radar. Bam, 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 bam. Hostile engagement. Croker here. Attacking. I've been picked up. This is Korolev. Load below. Apache sighted. Under pressure. Excellent. Quit. Let's get back to work. I've got googlies to fry. Engaging. Taking hits. I've been put down. Load, now down. Bam, 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 bam! Recon units moving. Apache sighted. Cold red, taking hits. This is Korolev, at location. Base, I'm taking hostile fire. Nice work. Do you remember the last time you killed someone? Yes. On the beach. 2012. You? I was in London. I remember London. Government troops were firing low-frequency electromagnetic weapons into the crowds in Whitehall, inciting people to riot. It made them easier for the snipers and the point men to pick off. I was part of the fire team that took them down. I was there when we liberated England from the bastards. And now they want it all back.
20 years. You know, I'd managed to forget almost all of it. The noises people make when bullets hit them. The way you scream when you're killing someone with your hands. I hated that most of all. Because it doesn't come from you. And then you come too with blood on your hands and skin under your nails. And your throat's raw and you don't know why because you don't realize you've been shrieking all the time you've been... I don't like having been a killer. Neither do I. But if I died with the rest of my team in London, if you died on the beach, there may have been no one else qualified to run this operation today. We have to live with ourselves in order that no one else ever has to die. Look at that. The city. It wasn't anything 20 years ago. Not even there. We took control of the world back from the few, and used it as the many. And look what we did. Streets lined with plants that capture pollution and sequester it as the pigment in flowers, decontaminating it as they bloom. Public creation engines on every corner that make free food and clothes and goods and anything out of dirt and waste. Tiny organic medicines riding the air that heal us as we breathe. Disease-free immortality. Our grasp exceeds the moon and we stand on the verge of greatness. Twenty years of making the world right are embodied here. Worth relearning war for. Worth killing for. Captain, five miles out we received a transmission from Kunz. It's short, but he's managed to give us some crucial information. He's being held captive in a research park, somewhere near the center of the island. The Cabal have been forcing him to continue work on laser technologies he was carrying out for Central, but with less benign aims than our own. After feigning to stop you at the wet dock, they've moved Visconti and Maudlin to their most secure facility near the center of the chain. Kunz is to be moved by Chinook later today. You must stop the Chinook leaving without damaging it. Kunz must be kept alive. He's our key to finding out what they're doing and where. He also indicated that the Cabal might be manufacturing tactical laser weapons on the island. We want you to locate and sample the technology before attempting to recapture him. Minitech strongly believe the weapons range could dwarf any of our own, and it could enable you to kill the Chinook pilot before he has a chance to get the helicopter off the ground. As for those things you've encountered, Anteus's systems have managed to access the stone we found at the airfield. When you've finished your scan of the island, you should take a look at the results. The laser's ready for use. It's slow to charge, but has staggering power and range. Use the laser to kill a Chinook pilot, then secure the craft by taking out all of the surrounding anti-aircraft positions. We can then get him out of there safely. Don't let any harm come to that Chinook. Kunz is inside it. This is a culture stone. We all must carry our history with us. We are young, and our history has been hard. Each of these stones contain our entire culture. Should we become separated from our race, we may plant this stone to grow our culture anew. We are a grown race. We have fought and clawed our way to a civilization we can call our own in only 50 years. They made us. This is Church. We've had to move you directly into the docking area of the island. 
The whole place is encircled by a thick seawall fielding those AA guns. There was no way we could have got you and your units past the defences safely. Thanks to our less than subtle approach, Cabal troops are already moving into position to attack Antaeus. You need to act quickly. Use Salamander to clear the area of AA guns. You can then get your Hornets deployed if you need them. In engagements such as this, Salamander's toughness should make it more versatile than Hornet, although Hornet's aerial mobility and quick response speed can prove vital for defense purposes. Scanners indicate that Cabal HQ is about a mile north of your location. Find it and get Visconti and Maudlin out of there. And please don't waste time. Antaeus is at huge risk in this area. We want you in and out as quickly as possible. Ransom here. Attacking. Called Red. Taking hits. Unit destroyed. You're not too bad. Thank you. Don't let it go to your head, soldier. Recon units moving. Attacking! Apache detected. I have them. The enforcements are quiet. Hostile down. This is Ransom. I'm still engaged. I have been engaged by the enemy. Be careful of this bio ak, -ak. Kill the fucker. All strength falling. Hybrid ak, -ak on radar. Under attack. Hull integrity stable. Hybrid ak, -ak showing. Reinforcements urgently requested. Radar outpost detected. Recon chopper on screen. Attacking! That in here, I'm under attack! I Captain, they're shutting the sea doors. It's a bloody trap. Sorry for getting you into this mess, but you have to get out of there and fast. So all it looks like they're shielding the doors in some way. Locate the power supply and bring it down. Use Antaeus' guns if you need to. I don't want to alarm you, Captain, but some kind of building's grown near the carrier. It's produced what seems to be a biological machine. Deploy units to destroy it before it has a chance to engage Antaeus. Come to ransom. Confirmed kill. Hostile engagement. Man, I didn't even break a sweat. Watch that fire. Energy store on radar. Corlap going in. Patton here. Hostile down. Still engaged out here. Victory is mine. Borden here commencing attack. Not bad. I try. Enough cabin. We got a job to do. Still exchanging fire. Be careful of this bio -ak -ak. Multiple units on radar. Units on radar. M1 on radar. Bye bye, baby. Bye bye. I have them on radar. Attacking. All strength falling. Unit destroyed. This is getting harder. Take unobtainable. Hostile unit destroyed. I have radar contact. Awaiting visual. I finished my orders. All objectives complete. Yeah! Praise the Lord, for he is just. I can't think of a better way to spend my time. Let's party! We've done it. We have overcome and triumph. You can hear them, but you don't really believe they're there. They can't be. You've never seen anything with that color skin, after all. That particular texture and sheen. You think you've smelt their breath. But you can't be right. The smell of hospital burns wards, of car accidents, the smell of cooked human meat on their breath. Things have changed. The rules have been rewritten and no one's told you. There are things moving in those islands that should not even be alive. Everything's changed. This last desperate war has now become something else, something stranger, something of deeper import. These are hostile waters. This island appears to be a supply depot. There's a train line running from a fuel store in the west to an unknown location in the east. Survey the area for resources and report back. Over to you, Church. Captain, many tech engineers have been working with Kunz on technology you may find useful. First up, Puma, a fast, quiet reconnaissance vehicle with no radar signature. It will allow you to move around undetected in areas covered by radar. It goes without saying that you are still susceptible to visual surveillance. Which moves us nicely onto the cloak. Whilst held by the Cabal, Kunz was also researching ways of using low-frequency lasers to refract light around objects. We've worked with him to create an add-on that will cloak your vehicles from view. Combine the two, and you have a unit capable of reconnoitering enemy territory with little risk of detection. 
and avoid close contact with any hostiles. If you get too close, there's a small chance of detection and we have no idea what's out there yet. Walker, out. It looks like there's plenty to scavenge by that railway siding. If you use Puma as a forward observation vehicle, you should be able to gather energy in that area in safety. At the first sign of enemy movement, you can move Scarab down to the beach area and out of sensor range. Those Hallies are showing the same changes we saw in the Akak guns. See if you can locate the facility that produced them. Any intel you can get on those things will be useful to us. Don't neglect Scarab, though. You still need the energy and we can't afford to be detected. Outpost detected. That looks like some sort of guidance array. The recon choppers have changed. There's something odd going on out It looks so barren around here. Diseased. Detecting new sensor target. There's some mutant act shit here. There it is. The facility looks like it's been specially adapted to produce those units. This ground unit factory has been ripped apart by some sort of tentacle. Now I'm picking up weird ack ack. Hybrid ack ack on radar. I'm picking up weird ass. Walker, scanners are picking up some worrying readings. You should take a look at this. Captain, it looks like you've stumbled across the missile launch sites. I don't need to tell you what to do. Good luck. Hybrid ack ack on radar. They've launched them. Our only chance now is to shut down the guidance systems while they're still in the air. You don't have long. Fire mission at location. Guns fired. Shells incoming. One down, two to go. All objectives complete. Mission successful. All objectives complete. Yeah! Let's party! We have overcome and triumph. I can't think of a better way to spend my time.
It's getting colder. The further we slip into the heart of darkness, the colder its pulse grows. The local fauna and flora are not designed to survive in these temperatures. I wonder what is. What human invention gives with one hand, it takes with the other. Hell lies implicit in a gift of Eden. The cornucopia of the nanotech assembler has also given the world its worst weapon since the atomic bomb. The disassembler. Nanotech engine programmed only to rip their host apart from the atomic level outwards. The terrible versatility of the technology makes everything equally vulnerable. Buildings, trees, people, societies. The entrance to the facility is situated in an area to the northeast of the island. We believe the manufacturing center is several hundred feet beneath it, although we're unable to pinpoint the exact location through the layers of rock. The only way you're going to be able to destroy the facility is by getting explosives through the facility doors and directly into the plant. Surprisingly, they're using trains to move missile propellant over ground from a facility in the south to the underground assembly plant in the north. The doors of the plant open automatically when a train approaches the entrance. We've located a fuel canister on a siding near the main line connecting the propellant and assembly plants. If you can get a unit close enough to the canister, we should be able to tag it with a triggering system. It will detonate the tanker once it's inside the plant. Take out the main train line control center, situated north of the siding. Push the fuel canister onto the line before a train passes, and keep the cabal from destroying it before it enters the plant. The canister should then be pushed directly into the facility. Well done, Captain. It's away. Make sure nothing stops that train getting into the vicinity. Sodom and Gomorrah than I'm having right now. Well done, Captain. You do yourselves proud. Nice work, Captain.
Walker, taking into account the time of year, latitude and altitude, this island is absolutely freezing. It's 15 full degrees colder here than the last island. And that last place looked like it had been hit by a biblical plague. They seem to be becoming less and less inhabitable the deeper we penetrate the chicane. Have you had any luck analyzing the data from that island? Nothing yet. I passed the readings on to our meteorologists, but they haven't come back with anything so far. I'll try and get a progress report in a few minutes' time. All right. In the meantime, Captain, keep monitoring your scanners for anything out of the ordinary. We'll advise from this end if we find anything. Church? The damned reservoir in the middle of the island is frozen over. We think the cargo doors near the west edge lead to a hidden facility somewhere beneath the ice, and that there's a strong possibility the Cabal are holed up there. We want you to get a salamander equipped with cloak and minigun into position near the entrance and see if you can penetrate the base. Once you're inside, we'll have to divert all power to the direct link. So as long as you're in there, we won't be able to communicate with you. We'll also have to disable the Soul Catcher interface so all of Salamander's power can be used to keep the direct link open. We can't risk you losing control of her while you're inside. Once you're in there, look for any signs of the leaders. If you can't capture them, kill them. We mustn't allow them to escape. Our likenesses were deliberately fetished for the outside world by our creators, our owners. They made fictions of aliens, things from other worlds here to have sex with you, to violate you, to disturb you. There never were any aliens, but our gods, this committee of mad soldiers and conspiratorial governors, decided there should be, just to help keep you scared, keep you confused. So they built their own. Antaeus. Mission successful.
Visconti has given us the location of the facility. It's situated somewhere near the center of the island. You're going to have to destroy the mutated facilities to the east of Antaeus before you head there. Once you have located him and Maudlin, we can't risk the Cabal trying to stop us pulling them out. Good luck, Captain. Stay alert. This has the movement on radar. The enforcement's required. Commencing engagement. Radar net detected. Fuck you. Nice work indeed. Okay. You're welcome. Target engaged. They're commencing attack. Under attack, shields holding. Still engaged. This is Ransom commencing attack. Under Damn it. We're too late. They're already pulling out of there. We should withdraw and pursue. I'm not so sure, Walker. If they've moved out in such a rush, there could be some equipment left in the area. We should take a look. It's risky, Church. Visconti and Maudlin are in a precarious situation. They may not be able to contact us again. We'll be able to follow the heat signatures of those Shinnoks as long as we're quick. And if they had any plans to kill the scientists, they would have done it by now. I think we'll be okay. All right then, Church. Your call. Captain, push on towards the research center near the center of the island. Ah! They're everywhere! Little aliens crawling out of the ground! Somebody! Please! Help! Enemy engaged. Captain, we're getting a lot of movement all around you. The area's swarming with something. In God's name, Church. What are those things? They're like hives. Nests. Crawling bugs are pouring out of them. Captain, watch your back. They're everywhere. Destroy those nests, Captain. We're downloading schematics for a flamer to Antaeus as we speak. It's crude, but it'll do a lot of damage very quickly. My name is Ransom. Bam, 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 bam! I've got a radar contact. It's like a spider or a crab. This is Coralef. Starting attack. And another one bites the dust. I have some on radar. You know what? You're shaping up quite nicely. Why? Thank you, son. You're welcome. Hybrid Apache detected. This is Patton. Commence an attack. Red Walker approaching. Unit destroyed. Hold strength falling. Enemy engaged. Easy life. Shields holding. What on earth's happening to the buildings? They must have raised the complex to the ground. Unless something else destroyed them. What do you mean, Church? What if this species is no longer under Cabal control? What if this mutated matter isn't working out as it should? What if their creation has gone wrong? The idiots. It'll certainly explain why they're beating such a hasty retreat. Captain, watch what you're doing. There could be anything around there. Walker, if we're right, if this species has outgrown its creator, we could have a bigger problem on our hands. I know, Church. I know. Taking hits. All strength falling. This is Coralette. Hostile down. I have the target in my sights. Still exchanging fire. Snuffed one, bogey. Under pressure. Nice work indeed. Enough. You're welcome. Bam, 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 bam! Attacking! No problem at all. Enemy down! More fun at Sodom and Gomorrah than I'm having right now. This is Sinclair attacking buildings. This is Sinclair commencing structure hits. I've engaged the structure. is more intense the further in we go. 
around the cold generators, our vehicles begin to seize. Here we see alien mobiles, dead in this awful chill. Too many of their vessels look organic to us. Flesh, mammalian, warm-blooded in an alien winter. Captain, it looks like the Cabal are in very deep water. We're getting indications that some of their own people are unhappy about the experiments and the species, and that they, along with Visconti Maudlin and a dozen other personnel, have managed to hole up in a number of administrative buildings to the west of Antaeus. The leaders aren't letting them go without a fight, though. They're moving units in to demolish the buildings. I don't think they give a damn who survives and who doesn't. They're just single-mindedly going to ensure that we don't get our hands on any of their people. Get in there and protect those buildings. We need as many of those people to survive as possible. Once you have the area secure, escort the convoy to the docking area located on a promontory situated to the southeast of the island. Once there, we can pull them out. We were going to wait until we'd had time to test it, but it looks like you're going to need all the help you can get. The Cabal are not going to give these people up without a fight. We're putting off the test plans and giving you Phoenix. Minitech have managed to make some changes to the standard Hornet pattern, giving you a much heavier and more capable machine. Good luck. We have some on radar. Reinforcements urgently requested. I don't like it when it's this quiet. Towers growing, Captain. Like the ones at the airfield, destroy them now. Facilities are growing nearby. Captain, you must keep this road clear so we can get the convoy out. Be careful, Captain. Ingenious, clever buggers. This is Korolev. I found an alien power store. This is Ransom. I'm picking up movement. Building engaged. Gun neutralized. Stop shooting me, moron. You're not too bad. I hate compliments. I've got another walker, but this one's bigger. Borden going in. Target eliminated. Structure demolished. You really are quite good, aren't you? Thank you. You deserved it. Red Walker approaching. Engaging target. One unit down. Under attack. We're nearly at the docks. A social species communicating on the basic community level by pheromone and complex spore releases. The basic social spore codes are archived within this stone. Herein are the traditional housing structures. By the age of five, we have learned to harness our personal organic creation engines within our bowels to excrete nanotech assemblers. We therefore build our homes by smearing our construction excreta over the available material. 
Here we breed in family groups, asexual, infertile until we attain emotional stability. Here we make our lives until it is time to do what we were created for. You're not going to believe this, Walker. The Cabal Central leaders have contacted us for help. Their alien race is attacking the town on the Habitation Island. It's already totally overrun the leisure zones. Don't expect me to shed any tears for them, Church. If they're stupid enough to play God, then let them reap the consequences of their actions. Let's move out. We can clear the island when the species have destroyed them. Walker, if we help them, they'll give us all we need to destroy the species permanently. Although they're attacking this island, they're not isolated here. They've already evolved, moved on, exceeded their design, and learned how to fight for their own survival. Dozens of alien carryalls are already moving troops further south. Walker, the Cabal never gave the species the ability to fly. They were to be a land-based force, delivered by fakes, UFOs, flying saucers. The flyers we saw when we were getting the convoy out of the island were an evolution. The species adapting and creating to its own design. And now, the pre-programmed genetic triggers. The on-off switches aren't working. So we have to help them. They drag us back from civilization and pull us through hell. And when it all comes to the end, we have to help them. What do we need to do, Church? Captain, stop the aliens destroying that town and eradicate any trace of them from the island. If we're successful, we'll receive no fight from the Cabal when we approach Island Zero. And they'll give us all the help we need to put an end to this. Minitech have also finished work on the recharge unit. It's available for building immediately. Out. This is Borden, commencing attack. Here they come. Kill the fucker. You know what? You're shaping up quite nicely. Save it for someone who gives a damn. You're welcome. Target down. They've arrived. I've been engaged by the enemy. There's hostile movement on radar. The enforcement's required. All strength falling. Sinclair here. I'm taking hostile fire. Scratch one bogey. Engaging. Returning to base. Croker here, taking heat. The enforcement's required. This is Borden, commencing attack. Target down. Have a little aviator loving. Taking hits. All strength falling. Flying bug coming this way. Scratch one bogey. I'm now engaging the hostile. Shield holding. They're here. The enforcement's required. Attacking target. They are yet secure. Returning to base. Unit destroyed. You're not bad. Char. Let's get on with it. Hostile neutralized. Patton here. I'm being engaged by the enemy. Here they come. Ransom here. Commencing attack. Reinforcements urgently requested. One down. Engagement underway. They are yet secure. Returning to base. This is Ransom. I have a confirmed kill. This is Matson. Commencing attack. Careful! Hostile unit destroyed! Matson here, commencing attack! I'm being shot at. Shot through the heart. You're not bad. Okay. Hell integrity okay. Four-legger, coming this way. Target down. Flying bug, coming this way! Target under attack. The Lord is my shepherd. Four-legger, coming this way. I have fresh radar contacts. Taking heavy fire. Red Walker heading right this way. Hostile down. Flyer coming in. Sinclair here, I'm under attack. I'm almost dead here. Watch out! Lawrence Walker coming this way. Flyer coming in. Unit destroyed. Hell bridge imminent. Rick this is Sinclair, continuing attack. Ah! Enemy unit destroyed. Hostile units detected. Red bug heading this way. Hostile down. This is Ransom. I'm taking hostile fire. Time to kick out and drop back. Engaging. This is Patton. I'm taking a lot of hits. One unit down. Yes. I've started my attack. Red flyer heading this way. One down. I'm nearly fucking dead. Patton here. Damage at 50%. I have a flyer moving this way. I'll breach imminent. Patton here. Hostile down. Sinclair here. God damn it. New radar contact. This is Ransom. I have a bogey at 6 o'clock. I started my attack. It was too easy. Fine work. We've still got a lot of work to do, though. Thanks, anyway. But the next time, it will be me behind the trigger. Unit down. I have a flyer moving this way. This is Ransom taking hits. And he still fell at my feet. Shot through the heart. 
Enemy engaged. Void. Attacking structure. I am making structure hits. Fire mission at target. Guns fired. Clear impact zone. Well done. Now let's move on to Island Zero. Here, in the final chicane of sea bases, are the great engines that will be put into service against the rest of the planet. The machines that will spread nanobreakers across the ocean, designed to devour, at the very least, the food and power-making technologies of the rest of Earth. The machines that will program dissent out of the human mind, that will incinerate pockets of resistance and reduce entire countries into puddles of protein leaving the buildings empty for resettlement. At least, that's what we thought. The human cabal behind the chicane. Species they grew to make war for them have taken over, and unlike the cabal that grew them, they have no reason to leave anyone on Earth alive. Here it is, Island Zero. Church, are we receiving contact from the cabal? Nothing, Walker. They're not responding to any of our hails. I'm getting no comms activity in the area at all. Any movement? Nothing. I have very faint life signs in an area north-northeast of Antaeus, but they're fading fast. W Walker? I know. We're too late. Damn. Damn it. What now? What now? Let's carry out a sweep of the island. There may be someone left alive. And if any of their computer systems are intact, we might be able to locate the information the Cabal were planning on handing over to us. Good idea. Captain, search the island for life signs, keeping a lookout for any evidence of a tech center or mainframe system. Church, stay glued to those scanners. I find it unlikely the species will already have left the island. Walker, out. Captain, the information we took from the mainframes was wrong. We're patching you into the feed. Church, get that link running. This is Leoness, an island resort grown from the depths of the ocean just two years ago. A design paradise for citizens from around the globe. We received a distress signal from the governor's office two hours ago. This is what we found when we arrived. Our men have searched everywhere for survivors. There's not a soul left alive. Every man, woman, and child has been killed. Skin burnt off, flayed, others sliced in half. Organs taken. We think they're heading north, Captain, to Greenland or the Arctic. Our research center on that island you reclaimed from the Cabal has come under siege. 
It's located just a few hours northwest of Lyonnais. Church, out. Sinclair, first officer's log entry 2032 Kappa. The air is changing in composition. Radiation levels are shifting, altering in frequency and power. Something's growing in the rocks. The ground is scabbing over, shuddering with intense fungal infection. It's freezing. Humans couldn't live in an environment like this. Oh, God. That's the point. Sensor readings are going through the roof. There are massive energy fluctuations running through the island. The air around it's in constant flux, shifting in composition. Can you isolate what's causing it? We've tried cleaning up the scans by passing them through every known filter, but it's not helping. The levels are so high, we can't isolate what's causing them. Well, can you pinpoint their source? There does seem to be a concentration of energy in an area towards the very heart of the island. It may be worth looking there first. All right, Church. Captain, you heard her. You know what you have to do, but move through the island very carefully. We've got no idea what they've got out there. We have a major problem. I think I know what that is. What? Well, unless I'm very much mistaken, and I don't think I am, it's got exactly the same energy fingerprint as the missiles the Cabal were producing in that plant. Oh, Church, no. Not disassemblers. Disassemblers, and lots of them. If I'm getting this right, then that thing's a disassembler cannon, and it's aimed right at us. And from our preliminary readings, I'd say, oof. With three or four shots, it could reduce the entire population of the city to puddles of protein. Ah, oh, Jesus. It never rains, but it pours. Is there any way to stop it firing? A cannon of that size will need huge amounts of power from somewhere. And they would also need cooling to keep it firing. 
There appear to be three sets of tendrils running under the ground from the cannon towards the perimeter of the landscape. The power sources have to be situated somewhere near the end of them. You have to stop that cannon firing, Captain. Millions of lives are relying on you. Our future is resting on you. There's one of the generators. It seems to have an inbuilt cooling mechanism. Destroy it. Fire mission at target. Guns fired. Clear impact zone. You. Let's get on with it. Target engaged. This is Sinclair taking fire. Red Walker approaching. Commencing attack. Sinclair here. I'm under attack. Flyer coming in. Red Walker approaching. Enemy down. Easy. Taking fire. I've engaged an enemy unit. Red Walker approaching. Unit down. You're not bad. Thanks. Now, stay focused. I'm taking enemy fire. Lazar here. I have a new radar pen. Hostile units detected. I've got a big boy on radar. I've got multiple bugs. There, I'm taking hostile fire. Sampling in progress. Do not move. Sinclair. Walker, no! The cannon's been fired! Get on to Central and warn them, Church. Captain, hurry up. You mustn't let it fire again. This is Sinclair taking fire. Fire mission accepted. Chambers loaded and firing. Sinclair here, I'm under attack. Enemy down, repeat, enemy down. We did well. Oh, too kind. Let's get on with it. Sinclair here, I'm taking hostile fire. We just lost downtown, Captain. Hurry up. Fire coming in. I'll finish. Medium flyer moving in. All objectives complete. Easy. We have done enough here today. Well done, chaps. Yes! I didn't have this much fun when I was alive. When you've got the Aussies on your side, victory is guaranteed. Woohoo! Yeah! Leave it to the tank corps! One step closer to finishing these bastards. There is a notion called terraforming that has held popular theoretical cachet for some time. It holds that given the correct level of technology, the potential is there to change the environment of another planet into one like our own. This is nothing the human race has yet been able to put into practice. It's never been considered that someone might do it to us. These central positions look less and less like somewhere a human could survive. They have been unterraformed. The disassembler cannon is welded in position on Anteus's prow. Not quite the figurehead we wanted you to have, but unfortunately it's the best you're going to get under the circumstances. Anteus will move slowly towards the heart of the beast giving you time to clear alien units out of the way. As she approaches the heart, both the creation engines and the disassembler cannon 
will switch to overload. When you hit the column, they will detonate. Matter will be created and destroyed in equal measure, atoms torn apart. The energy released will blow this thing into a million pieces. You'll have saved humanity. Minitech have supplied you with a couple more gadgets to help you on your mission. Given the circumstances, I don't think a full brief is necessary. Captain, I don't quite know how to... Captain, neither of us know how to thank you for what you're about to attempt. But good luck. We'll be with you all the way to the end. Unit complete. Ah, uh, deck, sir. Vehicle ready. Borden on bay two. Unit complete. Sir? Orders confirmed. I've reached my destination. Picking up a hover flyer. Oh, her flyer moving this way. Kill the fucker. Demolition just isn't my thing. Enemy down. Attacking! I am taking hits. This is Borden. This one's tough. Kinsey here, structure engaged. I'm being attacked. Hostile destroyed. Here they come. Small flyer moving this way. Slugs are moving. This is Ransom. I'm taking hostile fire. Small bug flying in. Enemy unit destroyed. Red flyer heading this way. Up Tower is growing, Captain. Port and starboard. Under pressure. See ya. I've engaged the building. Blast tower! Small flyer coming in. This is Antaeus. Under attack. Hull strength at 50%. T minus six minutes. Patton here. Commencing attack. Target eliminated. Red bug heading this way. Blast tower detected. I've commenced demolition. This is getting serious, guys. This is the operating mind of the carrier. Vessel under attack. This is Sinclair. I have lots of movement. Here they come. Small flyer moving this way. T minus one minute. There it is, Captain. The column. Thank you, Captain. You will be remembered. Thank you. We will make sure your memory lives on. Overload sequence is initializing. Disassembler at 50%. Are we having fun yet? Creation engines holding at 90%. Creation engines approaching critical. They're going to go too early, Walker. You've got to hold them together, Church. If they don't go at the same time, this won't work. Disassembler approaching critical. Okay, Church. Let them go. Thank you, Captain. It ends. The great engines of destruction are crippled. The forces of human extinction routed. You have come back from the dead gone to hell and given the human race back its future miles from here in another circle of the island fortress that you've penetrated there are screams the sounds of alien frustration the sound of a nightmare's death the enemy creation engine settles with a sigh 
its foundations blasted and gently collapses through the chill, unearthly air into the dark sea. Your own vessel, tested to her limits, cracks apart now, her revenant task done. The ship's creation engine drops through still fathoms to grateful rest. The two live machines, still suffused with the energy of making, lie together. And here, in the dark, something changes. The engines move closer. There is the bright and awful spark of creation in the ocean night. Terrible fire and motion in the deep. These are hostile waters.